Yo, yo, yo. What up, world? Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy Gio, man. Back with another one, man. This one right here is a little something crazy, man. It's a crazy update about your boy Diddy, man. The girl Jaguar right, she going off. She ain't holding nothing back, like always, but she going even harder this time. She's saying that your boy Diddy is connected with Kamala. Kamala's been climbing up the ranks, going through all the things she had to go through to get to the be a VP. Now working towards to be the president. And it's all through the works with Diddy involved and all the other big timers. You know, the elites as well. A-list celebrities rather than the elites. And I'm going to tell y'all this. It's no secret that Kamala been doing this stuff. Since she was a lawyer, locking people up. One dude got locked up for six years, and he was innocent. And they said it was a huge number of people that she locked up for no reason. That was African American, well, black. And this dude wound up getting $1.5 million. If I was locked up for six years, I need ten point five plus for nothing, too? And I'm innocent? Yeah, man, you're going to have to break the bank for me on that one, man, because I, I can't do that time for nothing, and I know I'm innocent. You're thinking about it every day, too? So she basically snoozed her way on up to where she at, and what Jaguar's putting out, man, hey, it's possible she's on these tapes, man. She on these tapes, it's a wrap. Like, she do these campaigns, all this type of things with Donald Trump. Donald Trump is going to fry her. And a lot of people hate on Trump. But Trump, he's a neutral type dude. Yeah, he got his dirt with him. But Kamala got more dirt. This dude came in the game with billions. She's trying to come in and get billions. So it's a difference. He was already comfortable, you know. And she's on these tapes, man. This going to make a big wreck at the White House, man. It's going to be a big wreck, a huge one. It's already major now because it's big time people involved with this allegedly stuff that's going on. And for Kamala to be involved and Jaguar Wright is putting her out like that. Yes, Jaguar has been in the scene. She's been in the industry. Jay-Z done used and abused her and didn't give her no bag. You know, that's all she probably wanted was a bag. And she wouldn't have said nothing, you know, but by them being so dirty like that, man, yeah, she coming out and she telling everything and got heavy security. Got heavy security, man. You know, so if she's on these tapes, man, this is a, this is a big cluster, man. This is going to be crazy. I'm talking about. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And I got something else for y'all. But I'm not going to say too much. I need y'all to tune in on this video so y'all can comment and we can talk about this. The next thing, they got a call from Diddy. I don't think I've seen anyone yet release this, but it's a call on Diddy. He made a phone call and he's talking about, you know, he don't trust people and he think that they're trying to take him out. He's not dumb. He knows what's going on, like exactly what's going on. So he don't trust food. He don't trust anything. So from what I'm hearing, some of the guards is bringing him extra food in. So he trusts somebody that's in that system, and they're bringing him extra food. And word on the streets is when you locked up like that, you only get three showers a week. This dude taking a shower every day. So 1090 Jace, he already said he needed to have a knife. For his protection because it's people that's willing to take him out just to have his name under they belt. You got people that don't have anything to lose, man, or people that's just not coming out, you know, and they ready to crash out. So, you know, this dude, he he better be on his P's and Q's, which I know he is. Because I know after that first night when he got locked up, when he got locked up, he probably thought, yeah, man, I'm just going to bond out, hit him with a big number once I get out. I'm going to hit my lawyers up, and we're going to make sure I don't never come back in there again. When they say he ain't got no bond, boy, I know his stomach dropped. So his reality kicked in like your boy Drake said, man. But all I'm going to tell y'all is, man, 
Diddy got 120 people that came forward. And that's out of 3,500 people, 3,500 people, as low as the age of nine, that's going to be testifying against this dude. Like, y'all got to understand how big this is. And this dude been recording since the early 90s, all his profits. That's not including a lot of the other celebrities that he done showed the ropes to that's doing the same thing. And he has everybody at his parties. He's the biggest, one of the biggest party throwers ever. You know, he throw a million or two for a party for one night. You know, he'd probably pay you to just come. And they were saying allegedly that the minors was not allowed until they drink the drinks that he give them. And drinks that be fuzzing and sizzling and stuff. They got the they got that 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 night night. And, you know, um, sad situation, man. And if Kamala's involved, it's a wrap. Um, I don't even know how much more to explain that. All I got to say is Trump going to have something to say. And this is going to explode because it's going to be live. And I'm pretty sure he ain't got no filter, especially when it comes to something. If he know he ain't involved in, don't get me wrong, he cool with Diddy. But I personally don't think his movement will be involved in that. Cause that dude was already a billionaire, man. So he ain't all he, he he can just go and leave, you know. So Kamala, she's not no billionaire. She's doing whatever it takes to climb up the ranks, man. So she can get to that vice president status from locking people up, and now she's trying to hit president status. So she on them takes, man. This is shut down for her. Y'all check this out, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Let's chat on this. I have a live coming up. If I have enough people in, I will do the live today. If not, I will reschedule it so I can run these likes up, run the subscribes up, get more people in, and we can all talk about this, man, and more debt, more in debt, rather. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Appreciate the love, support always, man. Like, subscribe, hit the comments, man. Let's run it up. Let's run it up, run it up, run it up, man. And um, I'm going to see y'all on the next one, man. I'm out. Nobody's talking about the fact that old Kamala Harris has ties to the diddler. And his Howard parties. Where a lot of AKAs attended. Hmm. Maybe they're all ordering pizza again. Breaking news. FBI investigates Diddy's connection to Michael Jackson's death. New documents reveal a shocking twist. The FBI is now looking into Diddy's possible involvement in the death of Michael Jackson. That's right, the king of pop might have been silenced by someone nobody ever suspected. For years, everyone believed Michael Jackson's death was just a tragic accident. But newly surfaced documents show that Michael knew someone was after him. And guess what? Diddy's name appeared in the investigations, but why? According to leaked reports, Diddy was allegedly involved in a series of secret threats against Michael. He knew Michael was about to expose a dark scheme that involved some of the biggest names in the music industry. And when Michael tried to break free, things started spiraling out of control. Why would Diddy do this? Was he protecting something or someone? Sources close to the case say Michael was being controlled before his death. And from that point on, Michael seemed terrified. Was he becoming a problem for people who were too powerful to cross? And was Diddy the fixer brought in to make sure Michael never spoke again? But the worst part? The FBI recently found new evidence in one of Diddy's properties. Documents that might finally unlock the truth about what really happened on Michael's final night. Could this be the breakthrough we've been waiting for? Or will more people fall before we uncover the full story? Comment, Justice for Michael if you think the truth is close, and follow for part two, where we'll reveal what the FBI doesn't want you to know. Daddy, I like it when you're scrambling and scraping for shit, Daddy. Oh, that's just so fucking creepy. <laughs> I know what the fuck he did. I knew, that's why I was fucked up. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that coming. I was fucked up. Yeah. And you don't have to ask me what he is. <laughs> you, do, you do not. <laughs> I know the answer. You do not. You, know, you will be able to prove, mm -hmm. if if pressed, uh, that That's this hers. that this alleged hard drive mm -hmm. came that belongs to Kim. Mm -hmm. um, will you also reveal your sources? No. Okay.
Under the California Shield Law, I will not. Okay. There are allegations of Diddy's involvement in alleged sexual activities with celebrities including Jay-Z, Will Smith, and others. What evidence or testimony supports these explosive claims? Again, I'm only going to go off of what Kim says, and that's all I can go off of for that. Okay. If you were to ask me to research and investigate that these guys were bisexual, there's a lot of evidence that they are. Um, Not just from Kim, and you're going to see it come out. Yeah. So, so what I what I want what I want to be clear of sure. is is the question. Once again, there are allegations of Diddy's involvement in alleged sexual activity in the book with celebrities, including Jay Z, Will Smith, and others. What evidence or testimony supports these explosive claims? So basically, you're telling me that you per se don't have any tapes videos of anything involving jay-z there's tapes of them yeah no you have tapes mm -hmm. you are in possession of well i'm not going to comment about what the word possession means but there are tapes of them yeah no i'm saying you you've seen those tapes no comment there's a claim that uh kim porter kept copies of diddy's alleged sex tapes as leverage what evidence do you have to support this narrative the tapes so you actually have tapes I'm not going to do fully comment. Let's just say there's tapes that exist. Yeah. Well, let's that are on. Let's let's ponder. Let's ponder around that. There's the investigators in the case that is now filed. Yes. Right. Say that they are in possession of tapes. They can actually confirm that there are tapes. Sure. As well as baby oil, as well as all of the sure. other things that yes. they found. Yeah. And so with that, we do know from that perspective that the. DA involving the case that Diddy is now facing. The federal government. Yes, the, the DA and the federal government yep. have tapes. Attorney General. And so my question is, um, there's a claim that uh, Porter kept copies of, and this is in your book. Yes. That she kept copies of Diddy's alleged tapes as leverage, yes. right? And in making that, it would be assumed that you would, or the possession of those tapes, you've seen them, you have them, you know about them. Um, and like I said, what evidence do you have to support the narrative? Yes, there are tapes that exist. Okay. Uh, the book alleges that Diddy kept a vault of tapes documenting his alleged sexual encounters. Was there any hard evidence that such a vault existed? Uh, the sources say there was a vault that existed, yes. And some of the tapes were flown out of the country on a private jet. That's from the sources directly, so I have to believe them. If she's angry, if she was abused, if she's fighting back, because we know through, and I'm gonna reveal some of these other things that are on the drive that discuss why she was doing it and when, okay? So you she didn't, want, these are other things that you didn't include in, correct. In, 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 and why did you keep that correct. out? Correct, because I can't reveal everything at once. It's too shocking. If I was to release those tapes, the world would shut down, okay? If I showed one of these tapes, I'm so telling you right now, the whole music industry and Hollywood, it would just grind down like this. They're all gonna start pointing at each other like this, and it's gonna be bad. We've already set it up. We have multiple attorneys. We know how to do it. It's not my first rodeo. I solved the greatest murder case in history, three of them. I know how to do it. We're going to do it, but just going to come in pieces. And there's also ways we can, let's say, not censor it, but we can we can kind of soften it, right? Like the tape, the whole tape doesn't have to come out. All the tape. I don't have all the tapes. There's other people that have the tapes. I can't control them. We already know they're shopping in Hollywood. We have proof of other people telling us we actually didn't have that one they showed. So there's multiple out there. Remember, this has been going on for 30 years. So I'm not the only one who has them. I think I have specific ones that no one has. But so, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be extremely shocking. We've got to be really just kind of one step at a time. But so. you can confirm nor deny that what you claim to have um, that no one else has, correct? Some of, I would say this, let's say, let's say there's 10 tapes, right? So this is a hypothetical. Yeah. Hypothetically, there's 10 tapes. There's a couple of those that no one has, but 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 the flash drive has. 
I can pretty much guarantee. And that. how how can you? Because if because if anybody has those, they're going to go to jail. If they release what I believe they think they have or they want to release, they will they will most likely go to jail. That's why we're and this is the federal this government. Is, so we're working with the federal government. Oh, you're currently we're, working yes, with the federal government. We, well, not like what you're saying. Not no 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 no. I want to be clear. I'm, I don't want to make we're any. We're going to give them to the federal government. Oh, so you're going to give oh, the yes. tapes to the federal oh, government? Yes. Okay. Uh, the book alleges that Diddy kept a vault of tapes documenting his alleged sexual encounters. Was there any hard evidence that such a vault existed? Uh, the sources say there was a vault that existed, yes. And some of the tapes were flown out of the country on a private jet. That's from the sources directly. So I have to believe them. If she's angry, if she was abused, if she's fighting back, because we know through, and I'm going to reveal some of these other things that are on the drive that discuss why she was doing it and when, okay? So you didn't, she wanted, these are other things that you didn't include in, correct. in, 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 and why did you keep that correct. out? Correct. Because I can't reveal everything at once. It's too shocking. If I was to release those tapes, the world would shut down. Okay. If I showed one of these tapes, I'm so telling the, you right now, the whole music industry and Hollywood, it would just grind down like this. They're all going to start pointing at each other like this, and it's going to be bad. We've already set it up. We have multiple attorneys. We know how to do it. It's not my first rodeo. I solved the greatest murder case in history. Three of them. I know how to do it. We're going to do it, but just going to come in pieces. And there's also ways we can, let's say, not censor it, but we can we can kind of soften it, right? Like the tape, the whole tape doesn't have to come out. All the tape. I don't have all the tapes. There's other people that have the tapes. I can't control them. We already know they're shopping in Hollywood. We have proof of other people telling us we actually didn't have that one they showed. So there's multiple out there. Remember, this has been going on for 30 years. So I'm not the only one who has them. I think I have specific ones that no one has. But so. Okay, more bad news for Diddy. A whole new set of problems. The most successful trial lawyer in Texas, Tony Busby, is now representing over 50 people suing Diddy, some of them minors. He expects more people to join the suit. He expects more people to be implicated. He's talking about a press conference next week. Yeah, we're talking about stuff that happened at Freak Offs. On his Instagram, Busby's talking about depraved debauchery committed by the powerful against minors and the weak. Busby's a Marine. He was a federal judge. He is an incredibly successful trial lawyer. He's a serious dude. So Diddy's freedom is gone. His wealth is gone. His legacy is gone. This is a fall from grace that they will talk about hundreds of years from now. The man went from a mansion on Star Island to one of the worst jails in America. The biggest secret in the entertainment industry that really wasn't a secret at all has finally been revealed to the world. The wall of silence has now been broken and victims are coming forward. Our team has had at this point more than 3,285 individuals contact us with people claiming, people claiming to have been victimized by Sean Combs. After vetting, we now represent 120 individuals who intend to bring civil claims in civil court against Sean Diddy Combs, as well as claims against many other individuals and entities that we will name as defendants as we file these individual cases. And you should know, to the extent the clients feel comfortable, we also intend to make these individuals available to the authorities, specifically to the FBI. And you should also know a few of them have already been spoken to by the FBI. Now, before we discuss the nature of the claims and claimants themselves, let me comment on the large volume of calls we have received since our first announcement. Even before the indictment of Sean Combs, we had received a small volume of calls and had screened 
a handful of cases. After the indictment of Sean Combs and the announcement that we were pursuing these claims, the floodgates opened. People who wouldn't otherwise, for a variety of reasons, are now stepping forward to make their voices heard and to pursue justice. Gene Dill, his uh, security guard, came out saying that, well, this was a few months back, but him and Ja Rule were in the room together with robes on. Say what? Him and Ja Rule was in the room together with robes on. Diddy and Ja Rule, allegedly. They were f That what Gene said? Man, yeah, that's listen, what the security guard said. Gene, Gene, Gene snuck and got him some, too. He ain't witness and saw all that, nigga, and ain't partaked and participated. They ain't gonna keep you around. Mm. They ain't gonna keep a nigga around to see all the secrets, nigga, and you ain't in on the secrets. We need some assurance, nigga. We need some assurance. Nigga, get on in here, Gene. Gene. You see, you big Gene coming out too? That's how I ain't know everything. He ain't just a fly on the wall just to be a fly on the wall, nigga. How you get to be a fly on the wall, Gene? How? To get to see all you done seen and you stay quiet all this time. How you get to be a fly on the wall is what I want to know. Same with, like, I had Wack 100 one time. Who keep telling you all the gay secrets, nigga? Mm. How you getting all the gay secrets? Who trusting you and entrusting you with the gay vault? So now, mm. man, you got to question the nigga to say they done seen. How you get to see that kind of shit, nigga? And they normally keep it discreet. But probably he was playing dumb like he didn't act. Man, he was probably acting like he didn't see. You, you done seen too much to know you ain't seen to play dumb. During the hiring phase, you think these punk, I mean, these people don't know what to look for in a man to trust a straight man around. Mm. I'm playing straight before the world. But in secret, my bodyguard know I'm a Fruit Loop. <laughs> so I'm supposed to trust this bodyguard. Meek says he'll offer anybody. Meek doing everything to, to try to disassociate himself. A hundred thousand to investigate the case. That sound like a guilty nigga. That sound like a guilty nigga, homie. I'm going to pay a hundred thousand. So, man, I ain't finna pay a motherfucking thing if I ain't done nothing. Why would I do that and I ain't on none of the tapes? Maybe because it's hurting his brand. He's coming out with new music and people are still talking about him wearing the same matching pajamas and shit like that. And that it's hurting like his brand. A nigga. Man, there's a whole bunch of people that said things about me and they lie and I won't even address them. I don't even address them. I keep moving like they ain't said it. I'm not paying no $100,000 to prove I ain't did nothing. No private investigator. Who they go investigate? Who? When the FBI got all the evidence. Who? Do you think two men matching like that is suspect? Like a motherfucker. <laughs> gay in the bitch. Yeah, gay in the motherfucker. Hey, yeah, yeah, that ain't just suspect. They gay in the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, them niggas spoon at night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, two niggas do that <laughs> spoon at night. The bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I tell people, man, uh, why gain the world and lose your soul? Why gain the world and lose your soul, man? Uh, gain all the riches and everything. You can't, man. I, I watch when I watch my mom. One of my moms pass away, and she loved brass and jewelry. She loved all the finer things in life. And when I went to her house, and I seen everything still sitting there, I said, none of these things matter when you're gone. Eddie Griffin is saying that the industry will put a hit on Diddy. Eddie's my Eddie's literally like my brother. I, you know, I don't. He sees he sees something else, but I, I think he's saying that he knows so much stuff. They're worried he's gonna snitch. Yeah, but I I don't know because maybe that's maybe that's what the problem is. There's somebody on that tape that's. You know, maybe maybe somebody on that tape is running for president. <laughs> <laughs> you know, may, maybe she likes making greens and she's black. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying, my whole thing is, what's the facts? What are the facts? You see what I'm saying?